So I was picking my dog up from day school one sunny fall afternoon. I had just spent my drive on a phone call for work. I felt so productive. I got the dog in the car and I was listening to a podcast called The Department featuring Omar El Takori. He and the guest were talking about time management and the guest mentioned that there is only a fixed number of hours in a week. In fact, that number is 168. They go on to talk about time management and I begin to think about the time for money trade that comes along with a nine to five job. I have a morning routine that consists of things like walking the dog, writing some pages in my journal, checking out my calendar for the day. This can take me upwards of 60 minutes a day. I spend a minimum of 40 hours a week at work and on average about five hours a week commuting to and from work. I work out roughly four to five times a week for about an hour, strength training, running, biking, sometimes more, sometimes less. I definitely take rest days along the way as well. I rely on this for stress reduction and the positive physical and mental benefits you get from working out. And because of that, this is something that I would consider non-negotiable. After a long day that begins with my morning routine, includes my nine to five job, my evening workout and stretch routine, I finally settle in for bed. I sleep for at least eight to eight and a half hours every night and I don't compromise on sleep. Rest and recovery is important and sleep is important as well. This is again, another non-negotiable for me. So in any given week, these priorities take up well over half of my allotted 168 hours. This excludes things that I may do for fun, including pre-scheduled events, date nights, and smaller chores like dishes and laundry. At the end of the week, I effectively only have a full times job worth of hours left at my disposal to make use of. In previous years, if I would have audited those hours, you'd find a lot of wasted time playing video games, binging TV shows, generally other unproductive tasks. 51 hours. 51 hours to spend with my wife, dog, cats, see family, friends, and divide this up among the other hobbies that I enjoy doing in life. So how do I figure out what to do that would allow me to buy back some of that time? The catalyst here for me was YouTube, but I don't wanna sell mediocre products or just create videos for clicks, likes, and views. It kind of started that way and has morphed into something more creative for me. I found something that I enjoy doing is challenging me to learn and do new things, step out of my comfort zone a little bit, and has the potential to help people and make an impact. Money be damned. If a video does well or a video flops, my response has been the same. Make another video. Find another topic that I'm interested in. Make the video. This has provided me with continuous forward momentum. I may still be in the hamster wheel, but because I've realized that the time is limited that I have at my disposal, I have to be more effective and a little bit more picky about what I choose to do. YouTube isn't going anywhere. My full-time job isn't going anywhere. So in this time audit process, I have come to realize that maybe I'm not as productive as I think. Maybe there's more juice to squeeze here and I can create a future for myself that has more time allotted to the things that are most important to me in life. Let me know if you do this example yourself, what your time audit looks like. Until next time, see ya.